10 moments, selected and presented by Emma. Event 10, which is the least important. In 1935, Mao establishes a peasant base of support in the countryside. This was a step towards starting to really take control by branching out to make a bigger army. This also contributes in destroying the nationalists. This is just a reminder that Mao Zedong was a communist. Event 9. In 1956, the 100 Flowers Blooming happens. This enlists support among China's intellectual elite. Mao Zedong promotes a free exchange of views. This le led to Mao Zedong becoming appealing to the general public and he's trying to gain respect and become liked. Event 8. Makes a red book that everybody has to memorize. If you don't know what's inside the red book, which was things such as quotes and things that Chairman Mao had said, you could possibly get executed, and that led to it being a big deal. Event 7. Mao defeats the Nationalists. Mao does this by cutting off the Nationalist troops and bases one by one, which means that the Nationalists have no defense. This was one of the biggest moves to take control over the Nationalists. Event 6. Born in December 26, 1897, in Shaoshan into a family that was not high ranking. This caused him to aim for great things like a good education because he was in a low status family. Event five, Mao proclaims the People's Republic of China. He was remembered a great deal for proclaiming this because having led the communists to victory after the nationalists after more than 20 years of civil war, he decides to proclaim the founding of the People's Republic of China. This was yet another way to be appealing to the People's Republic of China. This took place on the top of Tiananmen Gate. Event 4. Chairman Mao dies in September 1976. He was a mix of things. He was bad to some people and good to others. Chairman Children were brainwashed in a way that Chairman Mao was so good, and so when he died, it was a tragedy. He caused a lot of problems, mainly because of the Great Leap Forward and because of the Cultural Revolution. Event 3. Mao loses some influence after the failure of the Great Leap Forward. The Great Leap Forward was in 1968 and was a five-year economic plan. All of his power came from his people, so he lost influence and he lost power. The Great Leap Forward was only one of the many problems Mao caused. Event 2. In 1921, Mao joins the Chinese Communist Party. This is a picture of the communist flag. Mao comes to believe that children should have a communist government in China. So he joins the communists and tries to destroy the nationalists. Event 1 launches the Cultural Revolution. This affects everybody majorly in a bad way because the new rules were so sudden and harsh. The communists took their job very seriously. They recruited the Red Guards and gained respect for that. And this led to people fearing him and respecting him, which made him gain more power And after the loss of the Great Leap Forward. All the power that he lost during the Great Leap Forward.